Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the ITC 2024 Diamond Sponsor Presentation. Please welcome Unker to the stage for his talk on transformative technologies for a sustainable future. Good morning, it's still morning. Hopefully you got a break, you're fully refreshed. So welcome to our Diamond event. We have, um, uh, we were introduced as four lively speakers in the morning session, so hopefully we'll be lively. And it's my distinct pleasure to give you a view of what we do inside of Siemens EDA as a platform. So you heard several speakers this morning talking about the need, the increasing need to stitch together a flow that is pervasive from architecture to design. At the end of design, you have a tape out and then production continuing all the way into in life and in field capabilities. You heard about challenges such as silent data corruption. We agree with all of that. And at Siemens EDA, what we bring to the table is a digital design creation platform, one that goes all the way from high level synthesis, whether it's for logic or FPGAs, to synthesizing through a Prisa RTL, running Tessent, which many of you know that we launched Tessent RTL Pro for the RTL level testing capabilities. And then power analysis, power optimization through Power Pro, continuing into implementation, which is the design phase, which is where you have uh, full implementation using our Prisa platform. Tessent comes in as the design for test capability. And then there's mPower for power grid analysis. Once again, you heard some of our keynote speakers and speakers in the morning describe that it's not enough to just design for power performance area any longer. You have to continuously check that the voltage drop, the V-min, is within bounds. Thermal effects are being looked at. And again, the industry, the EDA industry, is looking at your challenges the same way. Various companies are providing various solutions. So here we are providing a full platform in this space. Specifically focusing on Tessent, the silicon lifecycle solutions that you have come to use, accept, and utilize fully in your designs, you can see where we are. Over the last few years, we have been very fortunate to land ourselves in a market-leading position which we take very seriously. For DFT and e-learning, we thank you for all the support that you've shown in accepting Tessent as a leading solution. You've told us that it's a transformative technology. You've told us that SSN is shifting more uh, of your designs. You're shifting more of your designs into SSN, which we fully appreciate. And the fact that you like that SSN provides an adaptive intelligence capability with a lot of self-optimizing capabilities. So towards that end, I'd like to introduce several speakers today. The first one is introducing Anurag Jindal from Ericsson. Anurag is gonna talk about how Ericsson is using SSN with its self-optimizing capabilities and so on. Anurag's team faced challenges putting together an effective DFT methodology. He was standing up a new team. There's, there's about 10x type of productivity challenge that they faced. And so please listen to him as to exactly how he embarked with his team on setting up a DFX capability within Ericsson. Next, pivoting a little bit, let's think about SSN and the test capabilities at the backbone. The industry challenges that you just heard about from the keynote speaker at Synopsys uh, is absolutely rings true. Reliability, availability, serviceability, the RAS challenges are very real. Silent data errors are 
uh, real. You, you saw that the, com the hyperscaler community has been talking about it. We fully agree. There are test escapes from small delay faults and test marginalities that need to be as addressed. There are early life failures. There's aging. There's the workload that people were describing earlier in the morning that imagine um, two and a half month long training on 10,000 core cluster, that's nonstop activity. You don't typically design for that type of nonstop activity when you design your chips. So that type of workload can accelerate the aging process of a device. And how do you, how do you test for that? How do you catch it? How do you monitor it? While the chip is in the system is extremely important because the importance of it is, is um, well understood by hyperscalers from a system performance perspective. Delays, uh, slowness can cause a lot of lost dollars in revenue. But at the same time, this all has to be done in a sustainable way. A sustainable computing is extremely important. So those pressures of sustainable computing pushing our customers in a different direction, which is how can, you, how can they extend the life the lifetime of the chip. So on the one hand, you have these intense workloads aging the chip prematurely. On the other hand, you have the need, the economic need, to extend the lifetime of a chip. So testing, monitoring becomes extremely important. Towards that end, you have seen that in our journey over the last four years, we first introduced the backbone or sort of the highway of the test data, and that was through uh, Dave Dennert's initial introduction at ITC. He, uh, Dave is from Intel in 2021. Then Dan Trock, who's also in the audience today, he talked about SSN and utilizing it at AWS in 2022. Darshan Kobla was here last year from Microsoft talking about uh, SSN and how it's been used in their designs. And so this year, I'd like to introduce NVIDIA. Vishal Agarwal from NVIDIA is going to talk about test challenges in the AI, pervasive uh, AI era. So that's going to be our second guest speaker. Uh, should be very interesting. Stay tuned for that. And then finally, we announced this morning in-system test. So if you haven't looked at the press release, if you haven't looked at the announcement, please take a look. Uh, we are very excited about the fact that we are now enabling embedded deterministic test for all of the world's advanced integrated systems. Once again, in the morning sessions, you heard about the fact that we are now designing integrated systems, not just integrated circuits. And for these systems, you have to monitor and be able to do full deterministic testing of the chips that sit in the systems remotely. So uh, we have just released a technology which integrates with Tessent SSN and the Tessent IJ tag based solution. It delivers high quality test patterns to test the advanced fault models and defects in field. And you can also adapt and change the test content as the systems age all of which is your input to us for the sort of uh, testing capabilities that you think is needed. And introducing Dan Truck again from AWS with uh, someone who is using this in-system test capability, he's gonna share his experience with us over here. So with that, I will wrap up.